It's your boy DJ Academics and now Craig, don't get fired on your day off, man. And Waka Flocka Negro, aren't you on probation? You shouldn't be posting guns on Instagram, much less goddamn bringing them to the fucking airport. Now, TSA, they're flossing, flossing on Instagram with the gun that Waka Flocka allegedly tried to bring to the airport to bring on his carry-on luggage. They actually posted up the fucking gun on Instagram. Now, they're saying that, listen, it was loaded with 29 rounds plus one in the chamber. Now, the gun seems pretty familiar. Seems familiar like Waka Flocka was also posting up that gun on fucking Instagram. Huh. Huh, okay. <laughs> Great job, Negro. Now, he was already in trouble for being in a photo with a gun being posted on Instagram, but taking it to the police or, or taking it to the fucking airport, which is almost like taking it to the police, is fucking worse. He's trying to say, or his uh, representatives and his lawyers saying, well, uh, what really happened is that him and his girlfriend, Tammy Rivera, you know the one, that's one of the ratchet ones on uh, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, yeah, she looks fine, but she's ratchet. He's trying to say when he was leaving the house, he picked up the wrong bag. Mm-hmm, really, Negro, <laughs> really. Now, he's saying that's the reason why he actually brought the gun. Now, truly, Waka Flocka must believe in never being caught lacking, not even 30,000 feet in the air. He was trying to bring on the fucking carry-on back, and he had already one in the chamber. He's holding the chamber for the ops in case he meets them over the fucking Pacific Ocean. So, okay, Waka Flocka, we get it. You're out here, you're doing it, and obviously, I'm really going to blame all of this on that chick Tammy. She's on fucking love and hip-hop. She got Waka Flocka coming back to this Negro nonsense, posting up guns, carrying around guns, bringing the guns to the airport. And now apparently there's something that they're trying to finagle somewhere she could kind of claim responsibility for. And I would love to see that. Listen, if you really hold your man now, take this gun charge for him. If you got to go do some time, do that fucking time for Waka Flocka. But now we know when it comes to TSA... They're not about passing off a charge. You can't be like, oh, that's my homeboy shit. You just caught it in my hands. Nigga, they caught it with you. You're probably going to go down for it. So, Waka Flock, as I said, he got to make better decisions. And as I said, I'm at the point where I can't make excuses for rappers who are millionaires and they do know better. I mean, I don't know if he's trying to fucking reunite with Gucci. Gucci's in jail right now, chilling. If he's trying to reunite with Gucci, pretty good move. If he's trying to make some type of prison collab, pretty good move. Now, if he's really trying to be free and get all this EDM money, which he clearly is, this is a really horrible fucking idea. Now, I see a lot of people typing, oh, yo, this must be publicity stunt. Listen, man, when it comes to TSA, with heightened sensitivity and heightened security after 9-11, there's nothing publicity stunt about bringing a gun to the airport. Too Short got caught. Listen, they fucking busted 2 chains with, with what they're calling the brass knuckles, which was a really a four-finger ring. So them catching Waka Flocka with a loaded gun? Oh yes, feet will be inserted in anus. They don't give no fucks at the airport? Right now they're looking at Waka Flocka like he could be playing some type of sinister shit. I wouldn't be surprised if they were tracking him and monitoring what the fuck he's doing. You can't play no type of games when it comes to the airport, other people's safety, and also other countries. Because when you're flying either internationally, you're really interacting between two countries. So... We'll see what happens, man. What do you guys think about this? What do you think about TSA just flexing with Waka Flocka's gun? Posting on Instagram, letting people know that, hey, if you really had a gun permit and you weren't fucking on probation and you could actually travel with your guns, yeah, you could have it and you could travel with it if it was in a separate bag that was checked and if it wasn't fucking loaded, yeah, you could probably travel with it. But bringing this on your carry-on, no Negro, you're going to jail. Get in the comment box. Let me know what you guys think about this. Yeah, man, stupidity, man. You can't feel sorry for these rappers. They, they know what to do. It's not any dumb motherfucker that's never even flown would know don't bring your fucking personal handgun to the airport. Come on. You don't, when you're going down your checklist of shit to pack, it's not toothbrush. Uh, make sure you have deodorant. Make sure you got soap because you're going on the road. Make sure you got your gun. Make sure you got your favorite pair of jeans and your favorite pairs, pairs of J's. No, you don't fucking bring your gun. If you do, you get locked up. That's what happens. Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like. Definitely subscribe. It's your boy DJ Academics, man. I'm out.